All right, so today we have something pretty special for you guys. We have a new product. Um, you may have seen it released on our social media channels like Instagram, Facebook. We made a couple posts about it, uh, but we have our DL800 differential cover and transmission brace. We saw some weaknesses. Basically, we noticed that uh, we were blowing up some ring opinions. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons we think that's happening is that this section of the transmission is actually flexing and the gears are able to come apart. We add some rigidity to this side of the case. If you can imagine, once you take this cover off, it's a really big empty cavity in there. If you look at these uh, three mounting points, they actually distribute some of the load throughout the case. So this is going to be a 6061 T6 aluminum. Okay. And then we have uh, a few steel parts. So right back here, where it mounts to the back of the case is uh, 4130 steel. We'll have a link in the description below. We've been testing kind of a prototype of this on Drago. Yeah. And, uh, Obviously it works if it's the world's <laughs> quickest Huracan, so yeah. uh, it's proven. Right, you know, here we are with the final product, so it's pretty exciting, especially for the V10 market. We have a lot of a lot of people showing a lot of interest and we were just we're excited to finally bring something like this to market so he's got on his computer kind of some of the 3d renderings that uh, he's been working on so we're going to go head over into the office real quick and we're going to take a look at that he's got it pulled up here in solidworks yeah so this is uh one of the simulations we ran to kind of verify if the strength of the dip cover was up to the spec and so basically what i did here i simulated the bolt pattern and how it kind of bolts up to the case uh -huh. And you can see this pink arrow here uh, basically simulates our worst case scenario. So that's basically a, a wheel lockup and all of the load from the differential is getting transferred into the diff case or okay. diff cover, sorry. And then, so basically that pushes out. You can see this high stress area here. But so the, I'm guessing more towards yellow and red is like a high stress point, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you can see where the stresses are kind of building okay. up. Yeah. And so you can imagine that this kind of wants to twist the cover over. Yeah. So that's kind of why we have these two legs here to nice. kind of transmit and share some of that load. Okay. I didn't know you could run simulations like this in SolidWorks, okay. I would ask, me personally, how do you even know where to begin with that? But I know you went to school for that. <laughs> it's a whole, that's a whole other oh, yeah. aspect of, you know, design and simulation. But we want to do as best of a job when we're actually designing the part yeah. instead of kind of trial and error when we're out in the field. Wasting time and Wasting resources. time and resources, yeah, yeah definitely. Gotcha. This is showing like the kind of final design. Yeah, the whole system kind of lays out. And we also include this uh, air valve relocation tube. Kind yeah, there is a valve the here room. for emissions, and okay. we just wanted to make sure all that stays intact, so we relocate it upward so we can add this brace in. All right, so now that we got an awesome look at this brand new transmission brace that we came out with, we are going to go head over to the main shop. Uh, we have a couple cars we're going to go take a look at today. So let's go head over to the main shop. We'll see what's going on. We got Tyler. What's up? Did you guys recognize him? Uh, recently, we just did an RA600 build on Chris's Q. If you guys want to check that out, links will be in the description down below. But this is a this is a stock exhaust. Yeah. There's no turbos. But are we putting turbos on it? Not on this one. No. Not. No. Nope. Just doing a, an NA exhaust on this thing. So people might not realize that we don't only do twin turbo kits here. We do more service, more maintenance on these cars, and even small things. So we have the exhaust right here. Yeah. As you guys can see, um, there's really not much to V10 exhaust. So that's kind of one thing I want to talk about just a little bit is. So with the V10s, if you run an exhaust like this on the car, it's going to be super, super loud. The yeah. twin turbo kits, the turbos almost act actually like a muffler. It quiets it down, but then you're also adding that turbo, yeah. that spool noise, yeah. and that's that's where the money is, oh, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. We'll go ahead, we'll do a sound clip once he gets this put on and all kind of buttoned up. Here's your stock V10 exhaust. That's nuts. Yeah. Big old heavy thing. Makes the car way too quiet. Yeah. But this.
more. <laughs> oh my god. It's a little bit louder than it was. Jeez. Look at everyone's face. <laughs> Alright, so we have this Alpha 12 R8 that you guys saw a clip of at the beginning of this video. So it's an Alpha 12. Oh, it's got a titanium exhaust on it. It's stock ECU, so it's not Multec. Oh, it has the, it's tuned on DS1. Uh, and then it's got stock stock ECU flex fuel. Uh, still stock manifold, stock everything. He just had the only upgrade beside the turbo kit is uh, trans work mm -hmm. that he had done. And then uh, so this is actually our, our 2 plus build and um, you know like standard stage 2 is just uh, to Dotson 9 plate clutch so 9 frictions, Dotson's build ba baskets technically. Um, and then what makes it the plus is we add kind of all the billet goodness here. So built pan, it's got the half shafts, built dev covers in here. Um, and then as a little bit of added goodies for this car we went through and we did our AMS titanium hardware on it. Um, and we also put our AMS built filter housing on it right there. Yes. So. so the reason that we're going to talk about this before we show the car on the dyno is with it being a stock gear set, we got to limit the torque. Yeah, um, so our awesome. stage two plus is rated to 800 foot pounds of torque. Yep. You guys are going to see we're going to be making just below 800 on this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the biggest fail point on these is, is second gear. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but this car, I mean, honestly, this thing going to be, it's going to be awesome. It's so going to be really good. The, the perfect setup for it and, and what they want. And so we do, we do recommend second gear. If you don't do it, you're fine. If you really want to launch your car from a dig a lot, uh, second gear is almost a must. We highly, highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to be really good for, for yeah, just, yeah, just mean, casual cruising, driving, giving it a punch in second oh, yeah, gear, yeah. lighten some will, tires off. This thing will be more than enough, Hell for yeah. sure. Well, thanks for the talk. Appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. Let's get this thing on the dyno. Final numbers here. So you guys see, made 1241 with 776 foot pounds of torque. So, as you can kind of see, they've been leveling off the torque on this car uh, just below 800. Uh, so, that's the main reason for doing that is to make sure uh, that transmission is safe. He has the awesome titanium exhaust, which the colors are really starting to pop on this thing now, now that they ran it on the dyno. And these will just keep on changing over time, so. Well, it is after Christmas, and it has finally snowed here in Chicago. We have not had a single snow up until this point, so uh, winter now officially feels like it's here. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you had a fantastic holidays, and uh, who knows what we're going to do for next week. Maybe a year wrap-up review video? Let us know in the comments what it is you guys want to see. As always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.